Hello, and welcome to our Data Connectivity course. In this course, we'll explore big data, from creating databases in Notion, to connecting third-party apps natively, to enabling automations. My name is Alex Howe, and I lead social media at Notion. Creating and managing dozens of posts a week across many different apps means I'm constantly pulling assets and data from a bunch of external sources into Notion. My role also gives me the unique vantage point of witnessing some of the truly incredible things our community has created using big data. Notion wouldn't be able to achieve its mission of making software tool making ubiquitous without databases and connections. Databases create important structure that keeps us organized, and we rely on them for so many daily operations and functions. Even something as seemingly simple as a tweet is a complex data structure underneath the hood. Notion's visual databases make it possible for non-developers to create complex tools. They also set the stage for layers of added connectivity through integrations to other platforms. On any given day, you're working across a lot of different apps, such as specialized design tools like Figma, engineering repositories like GitHub, video players, or even map apps. As much as we wish it was, it simply isn't possible to stay in one digital space all day. So how can you manage to keep it all organized, especially when working with a large team and even larger data sets? One thing to note in these conceptual courses, we won't be covering everything that there is to know about Notion. For this course, it's best if you have some fundamental understanding of how the Notion sidebar works, as well as sharing and permission models. We'll cover pretty much everything else. If you're looking for something more basic or sequential, check out our 101 introduction course that takes you from writing your first page all the way through organizing your entire workspace. By the end of this course, combined with foundational knowledge from other courses, as well as your own Notion experience, you'll be able to discern when Notion can be used to replace third-party tools, and when and how it can expand on those tools' capabilities. To get there, we'll start this course with an introduction to databases in Notion and talk about database views. Then, we'll move into how third-party data can be brought into Notion through embeds, link previews, and database syncs. And finally, we'll finish talking about simple automations that can make your day-to-day -day life easier by connecting Notion directly to other apps. Super excited to jump in. Let's go.